Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator. I am joined by Av Angel and going to be checking out the Asobo Husky. Now, I know that Av Angel's already made a video on this airplane. I have not. I do want to give my impressions on it. It is a payware airplane, I believe $15 on the marketplace. And we are in Africa. What is this? I already forgot. It's something Delta. Akavango Del Delta? I think that's what it is. Akavango Delta. Yes, it is. Yes, the Akavango Delta. That's the one. Yes. <laughs> All right. We're, we're, we just got dropped off like uh, out of these little safari Jeeps and we're going to go for a little flight. And we both have passengers, apparently, because I couldn't remove. I could, you know, I couldn't find the config file to remove the co-pilot. All right. Uh, I'm ready to go ahead and fire up and get on out of here. Masters on. Be my guest. Avionics, come on. Low oil pressure. This one's a little bit different to start than some of the others. That's for certain. I have noticed. Bring you out. Quarter throttle on you. Turn on the little boost pump. Although, why did that not turn on there? That's strange. Okay. Uh, yeah. I find it likes it if you give it a bit of uh, throttle hold the brakes. Just not a lot. Maybe take it up to like 12 on the manifold. Yeah. Uh, it helps heat up the oil temperature quicker. Yeah. Let me try again here. There we yeah, go. You really got to You can't. There it goes. You can't start it kind of like too realistically, meaning that you can't um, you can't like, you know, push in the mixture at the same time you're turning the key. It's a little more difficult than that in a really? sim. I actually have my mixture in and it just goes straight forward. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, I was uh, I believe on the checklist. It, it, it's kind of like starting on 172, like you have it out and then you push it in as it starts. But it's a little more difficult. Oh, to yeah. Do you give it a that. rotation or two, then you kick it. Yep. Yeah. That's the one you got to turn on the alt field on. If you don't turn that on, you'll have battery issues. I learned that the hard way the other day. Thank you for reminding me. I forgot to turn <laughs> meter on in my avionics package. There we go. Let's get uh, there. Yeah, jumping from airplane to airplane, it's, you've, it's, yeah, I tend to forget sometimes. All right. Uh, flaps on takeoff here. I'll just do one notch, I think. I'm Honestly, good. I'm not sure if you actually need it. It's really good with that sort of thing. Okay. I'll bring them up. So it's we're a big strip. So we're going from uh, Mombo Camp here down to Chiefs Island Airport. Yep. And from there, and I love this touchscreen. Oh, this is so good. And then on to Abu afterwards. So Beautiful. Shouldn't be too long, but uh, we get to mess around in the water, mess around in the land, have some fun. So. I am okay. ready to go. I'll follow you. Be my guest. Oh, okay. You know this area a lot more than I do. I, that is debatable, but we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, we've got the amphibian here today, so confirming water rotors are up, gears yeah, down, which is obviously we're moving. Oh, is it, Rocking it now. Is it a really hot day? Looks like it is. It's pretty hot. Yeah. 26C. I mean, it's not horrible, I guess. All right, let's go. I okay, might have to pull my... here we go. Rattle back a little bit. No. Yeah, a little bit. Ooh. Just a little bit. We're good. It's so easy to overspeed the engine on this thing. Pull that back a little bit there. There we go. On up we go. Ooh. These things I are I think it's smooth. okay to go full forward. Because obviously landing and takeoff should be full forward on the prop. So it should I think be. we're okay to take off that way. It will warn you, but... As long as we don't kind of exceed more than two minutes, like most PRH state, yeah. you're typically fine. That right, gear's coming up. I see your airplane up there. I'm going to trim up to you. Okay. I've got the Seasons mod installed, so I see all sorts I of do different... I too. It looks beautiful, don't it? It's really brown for me. Yeah, it's Maybe same. I have the wrong season. No, I... Oh, okay, good. Okay, I did too. Good. It's the Northern Hemisphere summer. Should be. Oh, yeah. No, correct. Yeah. So this is actually accurate. Yeah. So, yeah, there we go. This is cool. Okay, so I'm coming around to our right now. We're going to be swinging around and coming back to where we just came, essentially, and heading south. Yeah, I got you up there. Trailing behind you. Okay, let's bring her It's very in. strange to take off on a dirt runway with floats. Yeah, it is. Uh, the only real consideration is if we land on any runways with these, you want to be coming in very gentle and very flat. Oh, yeah. Because you don't want to strike the back of the floats you don't want to put too much pressure on them because whilst they are landing here yes they're not very strong yeah it's kind of like landing it's like doing a you know a two-wheel landing on a tailwheel airplane yeah. keep power into it and just fly it into the runway basically very uh, you see the lake ahead of us yes off runway heading we'll hit that then we'll turn down south from there that oh the one over here on the right okay yeah no do ahead 
off my heading. Oh, the little one there, yes. I see it. Yep, the little one. Gotcha. Beautiful day in Africa. There's the strip we just took off of right there. Very nice indeed. Yes, it is. Yeah, we're in uh, northern Africa, aren't we? Uh, southern Africa. Is it southern? Rather it's than... on the western side. Yeah, it's not South Africa, but it's... I'm actually not sure what country we're in. I should probably have looked that up beforehand, but I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, don't, it's don't central, actually. Central Southern. Pull my power back a little bit here. Yeah, now we're good. I'm going to flap next to you here so we can see this beautiful Husky. Yeah, so far, my impressions of the Husky are are really well uh, thought. I, I, I have nothing but really good things to say about Asobo, you know, bringing this plane out. Uh, yeah. I did a stream, and I was an idiot, and a lot of pilot error led to frustration of certain things and then I, then on top of that we had the weather bug from the sim update so that wasn't helping anything and the airplane had no power because it was like the surface of the sun everywhere Ooh, yeah that nice. was a bit of a uh, interesting one <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was weird for a few days but yeah i'm actually whilst people have taken the opportunity to crap on a sobo for all this the changes they've made in the year to this product and the fact they pushed fixes so quickly. Yes. I actually got to give them props from the dev side of things. Yeah, there's a lot changing, but a lot of all these devs for flight sim companies have been so used to FSX and P3D, which are largely a very stable, unchanging platform. So there's never going to be updates to the simulator, so they can right. take things for granted and make products. Whereas this is a modern, new, capable platform that's evolving. Yeah, there'll be changes, there'll be teething problems, but everyone's crapping on a Sobo because it's so different. They're failing to realize that it's the only way to make progress is to break some eggs. Honestly. Oh, absolutely. The only gripe I really had was just the miscommunications between them and the third party developers. They seem like there's just yeah. no communication happening there and they push an update and it breaks everything, even you know payware products. And you're just like, oh man, nobody's on board with each other here. That's that's the biggest gripe. That one, and then just beta testing, just beta, beta, beta testing. That needs to happen a lot more, or they need to actually listen to their beta testers. That's all I gotta say about that. No, I agree. Hey, so have you worked out if the traffic thing works yet, or what it actually does? Because I don't even know what this thing does. Whereas this is like a TCAS system. You know what? It should work that way, but I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. And by the way, with this package, anything. I can click on 3D Vision if I want to have that, which is really cool. Yeah, I mean, you don't show up for me on my 3D vision, obviously, but... Yeah. Uh, which one are you talking about? Which page? The knob to the right. The knob to the right. The little panel to the right. Oh, is below yeah, the yeah. This guy here. I'm assuming it's TCAS related. I have no clue. That is a good question. Yeah, it says traffic and it has a dial, <laughs> so I assume it does something. Uh, if it's functional, that's the other thing. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this um, is awesome. Okay, so we're... It is gorgeous, isn't it? We're southbound now towards uh, Chief's Camp. Okay. Now, there is a land strip here, but I believe we also have a lake down here, so we should be able to put down in there. Oh, yeah. And there's elephants at this place, so Ooh. should be pretty nice. That's going to be real nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's another thing is that you have animals, and uh, this is a... Was this WSR scenery? Uh... This is the SWS. SWS. I can't remember all these acronyms, yeah. but it's on the Orbix store, and I'll have it linked if you want to check out the scenery. And this airplane is on the marketplace. This is the Aviat Husky A1C. That was a surprise. Like, I knew they had something planned, but they never said quite what, and they didn't give a timeline, and suddenly, boom, airplane, and it's good. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> you know, and at first, I will say this. In my stream I did, I was kind of upset by them going with the amphibious floats and not just having a lighter float, like on a float plane, and going with the amphibious yeah. version because it's very heavy, but it's surprisingly a very, very common option with this airplane. So I was like, okay. I just thought they were taking the, you know, the, the floats and everything they had from doing the float versions of their other airplanes and just slapping them on, which is essentially is what happened. But it turns out this is a very popular option with the Husky. 
Yeah, I mean, amphibs these days are quite a common option, especially with lighter materials. It's becoming a, a better and simpler way of doing it and gives you the options. But my big thing with this aircraft has been the instruments. I didn't think I'd like it at first, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, a bit too much glass. I'm not a huge fan of that. But I, as, as someone who is, and I have to say this for the viewers, vehemently anti-glass cockpit. Yes. I friggin' hate them in general. <laughs> Um, in GA planes, at least, I find them. Cool. I think that's because we both took fly training in steam gauge airplanes. Yes, exactly. I did all my training in steam gauge. I still Same. fly steam gauge. The most glass I have is a GPS unit. Yep. And now my iPad. But it's like it's so weird. But this, I find, this is an actual real config option that's available for the Aviat Husky from the manufacturers. Because by the way, these are still made. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. They're still rolling off the, fa the factory floor. Uh, Flamingo is down to our left. Yep, and uh, Harrison Ford owned ones. Yep, there's the flamingos. No, those are, those are giraffes. Deer or giraffes. Deer. Giraffes. Okay, this, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I was like, I was looking down there. I was stretch, like, those right? are some big <laughs> flamingos. They got stretched, right? It's fine. <laughs> those are definitely <laughs> giraffe. <laughs> oh man. Oh, no, that's um, good. This is a real avionics package, and yeah. at first I was a little reluctant, but the digital um, artificial horizon is fantastic as a tool because it's very simple it's mm -hmm. still steam gauge looking but it's obviously digital input um but the garmin pilot style central avionics panel with the synth vision if you want to use it it's a great a navigation tool but b if you end up in imc and you are screwed yep it's a really nice safety thing to have oh it'll get you out but of a pickle the, yeah oh yeah the engine panel separate though is super cool because not only has it got multiple pages giving you tons of information that's super useful but you've just got so much practicality to it in terms of easy you know cockpit views and flows whilst you're trying to basically work your way around the aircraft flying along looking for what's going on it gives you the information straight away you've just got bam information there Ooh. but it's not all crowded onto one Elephants. screen like you know oh yeah yeah i see them sorry continue elephants i just look at the no, elephants. No, no. elephants oh more elephants, elephants. oh yep lots of elephants lots of elephants down here <laughs> oh, a bunch of elephants over oh, there. Oh, yeah, there. Yeah, on the left. Wow. And I believe they're this animated, is so aren't they? The scenery. They are, yes. The, some of the airports we're heading to, they'll walk across the damn runway. That is so cool. I'm noticing the wind's blowing us to the left pretty hard. It's uh, a little gusty. I'm also drifting. Yeah. Oh, no, you're fine. I'm, I'm like, just, just looking here off the nose, and it was like, it's pushing us. I think we've drifted south of where we're actually heading to because oh, okay. for some reason it's taking... No, no, we're heading on course. Okay. It's the, the map's been weird. I don't know why. Well, we're looking at What's elephants and, you know, you get that NF. fixation. You start headed towards it because you're Elephant looking at it. Elephant fixation is a common <laughs> issue in aviation. All the time. Okay, so I need to just try and work out where the hell I'm going here. I think we're coming to the right direction. Yep, okay, so rolling around to the left. Yep. Should take us down towards the airport. Beautiful. A little bumpy over here. It is a hot day. Yeah, sorry, I wasn't trying to cut you off or anything. I just got it, got my ADHD brain just was like, hey, elephants, hey, animals. <laughs> I'm the same way. I'm the same way. Uh, this uh, little lake here, we're going to go. Oh, there's more giraffe down here. Gir what? All sorts of giraffe right here uh, next to this water. Oh, yeah. There they are. Look at you. I love giraffes. More animals. My grandma's favorite animal besides the penguin oh, oh that's so very cool. cool oh i love the penguins and we have them uh we have a a place down here called bush gardens and it's kind of like an amusement park slash zoo and they have the penguins from africa that love the hot weather down here it's so weird to see penguins having a great time i lost you completely uh, i'm to the south I might see you in a minute. I'm just kind of Swing over this now. lake here. Which lake are you going to land Power on? That's on the here? question. I'm trying to locate the camp, and then I'll tell you. It's okay. one of those moments of, uh, <laughs> where is it? Where do I remember putting that camp? Yeah, right now I'm flying south east of those giraffe. I'm going to kind of fly back this way to the right. I'm down low, too. Yeah, I'm turning around north. I'll keep looking for you. Man, you really don't have to coordinate like this airplane spotting. a whole lot compared to the tail dragger version, obviously. Those floats kind of... Yeah, it tends to kind of float it. Keep it stable. 
There's another landing I strip didn't even over see here. You. Yeah, we must be near it because you I see you. I got you. Yep. You're 12 okay. o'clock to me. Okay. Yeah, and that's the giraffe over here on the right. Beautiful. Ah. So which uh, which pond do you want to land in? Where these elephants are hanging out in? About? Yeah, let's go land with the elephants. Okay. Let's go visit them, I think. Yeah. I can't seem to find that camp. My brain has just lost where it is. Oh, it's all right. It's probably right off yeah, our we'll nose down, down the there. Here. Right, swing this thing around. Yeah, I remember the first time I did my uh, tailwheel flight was I was so surprised about how much you use the rudder and then counteract with the the aileron compared to a tricycle airplane. Oh yeah. All right, so the wind is blowing us to the left. It looks like so. Yeah, we'll be flying into the wind if we go Ooh. the way you're going there. All right, I'm gonna follow you on in. Gear is up. Man, lots of animals down here. This is so cool. Watch out for them on landing. Welcome to Africa. Yep. <laughs> I got that Shakira song still stuck in my head. The Africa song. Bring the nose up. Oh, don't you get into a stall? Okay, let's dodge the uh, you can't elephants. Stall. Engine overspeed. Yeah, we know. We're we're trying to not do that and keep it in the whole way. Not the easiest thing in the world here. Woo. That's all right. I'm right behind you now. I am down. All right, cool. Flaps are in. All right, let's keep the yoke back. Oh, my power. Jeez, engine overspeed. We get it, dude. I need more. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't want to hit these. Uh, <laughs> there's definitely some elephants on the flight path right here. Oh, that's so cool. Is that a hippo? Uh, that's a hippo. Of us. Did you nearly hit a hippo? No, I didn't oh, hit God. him, but that is it is a hippo. <laughs> uh, I believe. That is an obstruction. Yeah, let's hold it off. Hold it off. A little bit more. Ooh. Gears up for water landing. Yeah, I know. Gears up for water landing. At least it didn't bitch at me the entire time when I was on on my, you know. We already have our gear up for water. Oh, I know. It's so landing. annoying. Oh, I know. Shut up. Well then, and then everybody in the video will think that you had your gear down. It's like, no, we didn't. That's just the thing. Oh, don't hit this hippo. Thank you very much. Oh, there he is. I'll pull it back. <laughs> Another thing with this husky I've noticed is that you don't... Here, let's put our water rudder in. There we go. You don't have... Uh, you don't have to pull the stick back as hard as you would in some other float planes. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and kill the engine here. Turn you off. Caution, low fuel pressure. Yeah, low fuel pressure. We know, avionics off, and then there's our little thing. Sweet. And we are here. And you can actually open up the door, which is really cool. Nice. Welcome to Africa. Well, we, we've already been in Africa, but there's all the elephants over there. Go say hi to them. All right, we are at uh, Chief's Camp now, and we are in the tail dragger version of this airplane, and we're going to fire it up right now. Woo. Master on. Here we are. We don't need to worry about this too much. Avionics come on as well, which is so strange with this airplane. I, on the checklist, it tells you to turn the avionics on at the same time because you need your engine information. That makes sense. You know. I, turn that I always off. do that afterwards. It's Gosh, wrote into my mind. <laughs> avionics last on. Yeah. You know? Quarter there and then all the way to the right. And clear prop. There we go. Okay, it's a good start there. And you said we're going to... I'm going to go ahead and go direct to... Yep, Fox Bravo, Alpha Bravo. In fact, if you want to go to your little uh, Fox Bravo unit oh. in the center of your screen. Hold on. Yeah, I'm doing it right now. Hit the Fox. direct to button, and you can literally Bravo. go to nearest airport list. Uh -oh. Nearest airport, and so scroll down. We're clicking on the screen. It's fully touch screen. Okay, I can do that in a second. Hold on. It's Fox Bravo, yeah. Alpha Al Bravo? Alpha Bravo, yes. Okay. I was already in my little keypad, so I was like, I'll just get commit. Oh, that works. Uh, Abu Airport. Yep, There's so two in there. That's strange. Okay. Activate it. There we go. Back to map. It's in there. Nice. And actually, I wonder if I can go to my 3D vision. If it, you can have that in ah. there. Waypoint info. Waypoint. Mm. I'm not too sure about that one. No. I just tend to stick it on the map. Yeah, it's not a G1000. <laughs> no. I fly outside the window, not in the cockpit. Yep. I hear you there. Right, you good to go? Um, let me set my flaps here. 
There we go. One notch of flaps there. Flight controls are free and correct. Yep, we are ready to go. Rock and roll. Brakes off. Yep, brakes are off. Here we go. And I'm going to pull my prop back a little bit so I don't overspeed the engine too much here. Get ready to dance on her here. Uh, get that nose forward. It picks up speed very quickly, and I'm on the grass at the side there, and we're up and away. Wouldn't take much. Flaps coming up. You know, I've just been thinking, maybe the the season scenery plus Sokovango Delta's custom scenery is clashing. It's possible. Yeah. It doesn't look terrible to me. No, it looks gorgeous. It's stunning. It's so brown, though. It's like you always think of Africa as so lush, but yeah. the reality is very brown. Oh, yeah. We'll bring these it's flaps. Stunning. Pull back 2,400 RPM here. There we go. Yeah. So I'm sitting about the same. Things a lot more sporty when it doesn't have huge floats underneath it to carry around. Oh, very. This thing's so nimble. I was up in uh, Alaska, just north of uh, uh, Tanner's Inn, I think it was, up by the uh, Sequila River. Mm -hmm. And I was just shooting down the river canyon there, like 30 to 50 feet, just in and out of the, about the river valley, just back and forth, back and forth. The thing felt like a stunt plane. It just <laughs> took everything. It loved it. Coming left on course. Yep. Gotcha. Roll around here. A little bit of coordination. Yeah, this is a neat airplane. And the thing is, is I mean, to be perfectly honest, does this do anything that the X Cub can't do? No. And no. if you already have the X Cub or you already have, you know, it, that avionics package, then you're pretty much set. Yeah, I'd agree. I mean, it depends what you like, to be honest, because yeah. people have compared this a lot to the Cubs, and they're not. The Husky is very different to the Cubs. It actually yes. carries more useful load. Um, it's a very different style of aircraft. It's a lot more kind of deck level than the uh, the Cubs are. So it's whilst a little bit less aggressive in terms of stall, you'll find it's a little bit faster, a little bit more balanced, um, a lot more forgiving to fly, but it is able to carry a bigger weight in it and it'll go a bit further than the Cubs can. Right. Um, and I just think this avionics package is phenomenal for people who are less experienced because so many airplanes in flight sim are glass cockpit yep. everywhere and so much information it's an overload so this is not a nice little hybrid of all those good systems just giving you in bits no i agree uh these islands are super cool down here and i love the water clarity as well we get from this mm -hmm. custom water mapping yeah it looks good so good look at that grass and the silt down below the marsh we got down here Come on, animals, where you at? Maybe they're... We, we just saw them at the, that last place. That's where they all migrated oh, to. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got some over here, I think. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Just yep. down below. I see some over here on the right. Elefantes. Yep, elephants crossing, looks like. Yep, of course. Zebra. crossing. And there's a zebra. Oh, where? Are those zebra? Oh, yes, I see them. Nope, those are little goats or something like cows or something. I have no idea what the hell those were. No idea where those were. Probably wildebeest. They, oh, I think they were wildebeest. They had the curled uh, yeah. horns, yeah. I lost you completely here. I'm going to get back I'm to the line. I'm on turning around them. Oh, okay. They're in a little conga line crossing that river. Yeah, I'm going to go check huh. them out. I like the fact the stall horn isn't super irritating in this aircraft. It warns yeah. you, but it doesn't bother you. Yeah, and I did some stalls in it the other day. At, uh, it stalls correctly. It's really well yeah. done. I mean, it's like it's a bush plane. It knows it's a bush plane. It knows you're going to hear the stall horn a yes. lot, so it made it less irritating. There's the elephants. Let's kind of scare them a little bit down here. Oh, where's he going? Oh, that's so cool. Oh, there he is. You see oh, him they there? They all look like they're dead. Yeah, there's the wildebeest down there. And they're crossing the room. Yeah, yep, little spot there. Stomping along. Yeah, I got you in sight now. I see you out there. Hey. Very cool. <laughs> uh, see what the wind is yep, doing I here. See, see the wind is. Watch the nose here. I think it's pushing us to the right. Let me get down a little, little lower bit. here. Yeah. We'll overfly the airport. Watch out for uh, animals on the runway here. Okay. There's elephants across. Will do. Yeah, I'm gonna overfly and just kind of check out what it's doing. 
I, I wonder if there's yeah. an air uh, windsock here. There might be if someone's not stolen it. <laughs> About to find out. All right, wind seems calm. Whoa. Yeah, it should be. Yeah, it's, it's calm. My, Advise you up below me? Yeah, my nose is not dancing left or right, so I'm going to be a left down wind for the runway. Yeah. Got visual again. I'm following you in. I'm going to do a couple uh, touch and go. So I'll do a, a two like a two wheel landing, and then I'll do a three point just for practice. Roger that. Okay, prop goes fully I'll forward. Down, pull the, the power same back. Thing. There's our runway right there. There we go. Pop forwards, power back. We're setting this right. up the engine. Oh, Push that God. Nose forward. Coming in a little hot. Are you landing first? No, I'm following you in. I okay. just came in a little hot beside you. Okay, no problem. The two wheel this one. Where's so to toss the anchors out. <laughs> yep. This back. Oh dear. This is tight base. Maybe I'll do a two and then I'll do a three point. Elephant on your 12, elephant on your 12. Elephant on a 12? Yeah, right ahead of you there on the runway side. Oh, I don't see him. Oh, it's a giraffe, not an elephant. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, close enough. Just warning you of the uh, possible runway incursion. There we go, dance on those rudder. There it is. Oh yeah, the wind's socks is dead. Go. One successful lane. Climbing out. I'm breaking left. Stay away from you. Okay. I'll go uh, right on this one. Next one. Yep, 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 yep. The flaps are up. Giving her all she's got. I pull that prop back immediately, man. Woo. Yeah, I take off with it about 25, 2600, and it's cool there. Yeah. I, mean, I usually run it up to like it and homing. then just barely pull yeah. it off. <laughs> yeah. It seems to It's work. a mid range like homing, so I'm going to cruise at about 2250. Okay. You're on a little. ideal at least. You on your left downwind? I'm left downwind about to turn base. All right, I'll extend yeah. my downwind. Roger. I believe I got you inside over there. Maybe not. You are right down? Okay. Yeah, I'm right. I'm right, right. I'm right downwind, downwind yeah. Okay, I'm turning base now to final. At uh, 3,600. All right, you're base to final. Yeah. Pull my power back here. I still don't have you inside, but I'm going to pull my power anyway. Yep, yeah, I'm about to turn final now. Okay. Turning final just over the lake at the threshold. Okay. It's not your flap. I'm on my base. I'm a little bit longer on final than you were last time, but. Oh, okay, I got you. I'll extend uh, down the runway. You're fine. So feel free to come in now. I'm just doing a three point landing on this one. No oh, power here. No flaps here? Yeah, I see you there. That Adam runway's huge. You blended really well in with the trees there on that one. Yeah, I'll do a three point landing on this one. I like doing two wheel landings, they're fun. Because you get to dance on the the uh, rudder. There we go. Oh, oh I see that yeah, draft now. He's poking his head around. Alright. The three point landing, you just quickly. land it like a normal airplane. Just go into a stall. You'll hear the yep. beeps. This is why I keep saying to people you can't be afraid of the stall horn. No. It's there we go. not something to panic about. There we go. Clear the active. Okay. I'll do one more here. There we go. Ah. <sighs> Should see him any second. Oh, yeah, Whoa. we know. Engine overspeed. Shut up. Hey, there, there he is. Okay, yeah, bring these guys <laughs> up here. This thing is so sporty. I love this plane. It is. Slipping the wrong way. Oh, that is so nice. So nice. Yeah, I'll do a two wheel full stop. Next. I'll keep it short. Yes, yeah, so we shall judge you. <laughs> Where's the uh, the giraffe? Is he still there? 
Uh, yep, I think so. He hasn't got onto the runway yet. <laughs> no, but Jeremy's, uh, I think, uh, tower controller for today. Okay. No, he's cleared the, uh, he's cleared the strip now. Perfect. He's completely off in the woods. That's the nice thing about this scenery pack, though. You never know when you're going to get a herd of elephants or giraffes oh, crossing yeah. the runway or wildebeest. You have to watch out for that sort of crap. That's so cool. All right, getting into my arc now for a yeah. snatch of flap. Sock's moving, so I think we've got maybe three knots max. Okay. Uh, it's all it's right. only out to the first red line, so... Mm, you got it. Billowing well, moves slightly, yeah, three knots. So, for those who don't know, the wind sock... We got the runway every, inside, short uh, approach. Striper that is three knots, so if that part is standing upright, it's six Pretty knots. That part standing up nine, here. 12, 15. If it's standing out straight, Power you're probably in it. trouble. If it's flopping, you've the got touchdown some touchdown zones so on this are a little screwed first up. Red. I think that has something to do with my Rex textures doing that. Could be. Yeah. Here he comes. Oh, it's looking good. Yep, hang on, we'll do it. Oh, there Dance you go. on the rudder. Whee. Now I can pull my power back. Ah. Let that tail come down naturally. Yeah, I've always been a big fan of the three-pointer with the conventional gear airplanes. Oh, yeah, of course. Hey, that's why I wanted to do both. There she comes on down. I haven't gotten to the brakes yet. I won't until it touches all the way to the ground. There we go. Yep. Now I can lock that and then get in the brakes. I had someone in my comments the other day saying about uh, braking full force since the mains touch, and I was like, nope. not sure if trolling <laughs> or, um, cause I, I wouldn't recommend that. No. In the slightest. Not at all. That's backflip territory. <laughs> it's a good way to ground loop it. Uh, yeah. No, that's the other thing I was always taught when I was uh, doing tailwheel stuff was, your aircraft is not landed until you're in the airport bar. No kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Any tail dragger will try and bite you at some point. It's like owning a cat. You will draw, lose blood at some point. <laughs> and you have to no S turn so you don't run into a dragon. loves you. That too, yeah. This isn't too bad. The nose is not as bad because it's not quite as aggressively profiled as the cub, so nah. it's a little bit more taxable. Yeah, this isn't bad at all. Yeah. Considering it's a very modern design of, you know, inline little tail dragger it's a beautiful plane i love it and then forward on the stick to yeah. unlock the tail wheel back all the way back back on this airplane is yeah pretty sure no i think back is lock and forward is unlock oh uh, could be i yeah. think that's just because that's how so it was done all their airplanes mm, yeah it's normally all the way back it's normally it yeah it depends planes. on yeah, yeah. Woo. there we go i'll go ahead and just shut her down I'm gonna do it my I'm gonna do it my way. I'm gonna kill it with the, Caution, the mixture <laughs> instead of the key. Some people like to turn it off with the key. That. Yeah. It's old habits, I guess. Alright. We're done Watch there. Sweet. Pop menu up for me. Continue. Awesome. Oh, it closed <sighs> my door. Don't you close my door. I didn't tell you to close my door. Alright, folks, that's gonna do it for this episode of Microsoft Flight Simulator. A huge thanks to Av Angel for joining me on this awesome safari. I uh, have not checked out any of the African scenery yet, and this one is fantastic. It will be linked in the description below, and also go check out Av Angel's channel. Thank you for uh, flying with me today. I had a blast. I often get asked, Jeff, do you have any merch? And the answer is yes. You can check out the link in the description, or you can just click right here on this video, and it will take you to the merch store. Thank you so much for all the love and support. I do appreciate it, guys.